G'day Kenan and Kenan Army. Uh, my name's Nick, if you haven't seen my videos on here before, and uh, I thought I'd introduce you to something that's not covered with scales, but something that you probably might not get a chance to see in other parts of the world. And that would be this girl here. Her name is Boo, and she is about a 12 month old common wombat. Uh, we also call these guys forest wombats or bare nosed wombats, because they've got two other cousins. Most people are unaware there's three species of wombats here in Australia. We have the common, who lives along the coastal forests of Victoria, New South Wales, the bottom of Queensland. Uh, there's the southern hairy nosed wombat, who lives out in the flat deserts of the Nullarbor Plain. And then there's the northern hairy nosed wombat, who's uh, critically endangered. There's less than 200 of them in the world, and they only live in two national parks. Now, Boo came to live with us when her mother was actually hit by a car. Uh, the people who, who orphaned her, they brought her into a care and she was hand raised. And uh, she's too humanised to release out into the wild today. Unfortunately, uh, in a lot of parts of Australia, farmers are still issued permits to shoot these guys. So it's not really fair to release her when she's got no fear of people. She doesn't have the instinct to run away and, and avoid humans. So it means that she can't return to the wild. But it also means she's a perfect educational ambassador. So uh, she lives with us, and along with our snakes and crocodiles and other Australian animals, she's gonna visit schools and birthday parties and, and agricultural shows all around the country. Now Boo here is only about 9.2 kilograms at the moment. Being 12 months old, she's actually still on two bottles a day. But she's probably going to hit somewhere around 25 to 30 kilograms, with the potential for a large male to reach well over 40 kilograms. So they're actually the world's largest burrowing mammal. Despite that large size, they're actually born only a couple of grams. Being marsupials, they're born like an underdeveloped jelly bean. Their eyes are shut, they've only got front legs and they crawl their way to a pouch, which in wombats actually points backwards. You can imagine a backwards facing pouch essentially means as she's digging or her mother is digging, her pouch doesn't fill with dirt. Uh, she doesn't get hit in the head every time mum crawls over a stick or a rock or a log. So backwards facing pouch, where she'll spend the next five months of her life drinking milk. Then she'll exit the pouch, but continue to drink off her mother until she's about 12 months of age, which is where Boo is now. Being a captive animal, we're gonna keep her on a bottle until she loses interest, because we wanna keep her really humanized, really friendly, uh, because it's the best outcome for her. The more settled she is with people, the better the quality of life she's going to lead. Now, while Boo's only 12 months old now, She's going to be here for a while. In the wild, these guys live about 15 years on average. In captivity, they regularly pass 20. And uh, a few years ago, I had the good fortune of working with a wombat called Patrick, who uh, has the world record for being the oldest wombat in captivity. He died last year at about 31 years of age. So uh, Boo's going to be around for a lot longer. Now, of course, one thing with wombats when they see cute babies like Boo is a lot of people think, I'd love to keep a wombat. But uh, the main issue with these guys is for a start, they're very hard to handle when they get large. They're generally solitary and males particularly become quite aggressive and territorial. The other big issue is you can imagine it's quite hard to keep a wombat in. So we've spent the last couple of weeks building an enclosure for Boo, which includes chain mesh underneath, concrete all the way around to keep her out, and an above ground den where we can have access to her uh, to check on her and to, to take her out to educational shows and the like. But if you'd like to know more about her enclosure and, and how we keep Boo, uh, please do uh, check onto my channel. It's called Wicked Wildlife. And uh, other than that, guys, Thanks for watching. Thanks, Ken and Tom, for letting me share some of our Australian animals with you guys. And uh, as always, have a good one and take care.